Okay, hello everybody. You know my name. So, Fairy Tale Chapter 422 has come out, and what did I think of it? <laughs> now, quick cover of what I thought of the last couple chapters. It did not give me good feelings. And what I mean by that is that I personally do not like the idea of Fairy Tale members joining other guilds. I mean, it doesn't do it for me. And let me explain why quickly. The thing is, We've always associated these characters almost from the complete beginning, except for maybe Wendy, with Fairy Tale. I mean, that's it. But and the sight of seeing them in new guilds, for me personally, this is just my opinion. It doesn't work. It feels really awkward. It feels kind of unnatural, and it just doesn't do it for me. Uh, if you want want me to go more in depth of that, check the link down below. That's my deviant art account i go into much greater detail on that and it's this is not about that this is about 422 so what did i think of this chapter i liked it a lot better <laughs> maybe it's because i've gotten a little more used to wendy being in lamia scale so it's not as much of a problem for me let me quickly cover that first too i don't think wendy's going to stay in lamia scale for one primary reason if she does she won't be a main character anymore and i highly doubt that i mean Wendy has been a main character since her introduction in the Ration Seis arc. I mean, I don't think I think there's a single arc since that arc that she hasn't appeared as a major role. I mean, every arc. I mean, she's appeared in more arcs than someone like Gajil or Juvia. So aside from, like, Natsu, Lucy, Grey, Urza, she appears the most. So she's probably pretty sure going to, she's going to come with them, mostly because of the fact that, again, She's a main character. I highly doubt she's going to be demoted so quickly. So that out of the way, now that I've gotten used to her or the idea of her being in Lamia scale, what I think. Now, the thing about the, this chapter is that, well, actually not this chapter, this arc. It's that I've seen arcs like these before. They're, at, they're always after a time skip. You can also see it in a manga like One Piece. And they're basically arcs that are supposed to establish the characters. They're establishment arcs. Basically, it's after a time skip, they've gone on some journey, they get stronger, they train to fight this greater enemy, now it's just case I imagine it's Acnologia. So, so these arcs are kind of supposed to show what they can do now, like what's their new power level. And that said, oftentimes these arcs are complete curb stompers. I mean, there is very little challenge for them. They defeat their enemies like that, no problem. This arc's a little different from the looks of it, because we get the reintroduction of Blue Note Stinger from the Grimoire Hearts back in the S-Class exams. It's been a long time since we've seen him, and it's interesting, because the manga never really shows what happens to him. I think the anime does, but manga, anime, different things. So it's good to see what's happened to him, and it seems he's become the guild master of Orochi he's Finn. Is it Orochi or Orochi Finn? I've, I've heard it both ways. I mean, the anime... Not, the anime, listen to me. Uh, the manga uh, calls it Orochi, but maybe that's a mistranslation. So he's now the master of Orochi, or yeah, I'm just going to call it Orochi for now. And he's kind of, he kind of appears at the end, and but I'll get to that in a moment. So it starts off with Wendy and Shelia. Shelia is this, that's not just put hijack happy. So they're flying to find the main group while the others are staying behind to fight the monsters. Except for Natsu, Natsu doesn't take that well, so he's going after them, and he just completely blasts through all the monsters. It's pretty amusing in that sense. Uh, so, oh, yeah, that's happening. We see Lucy's got a bit of a power-up. She can now kind of assume the powers of some of her spirits, which is interesting. I feel like that gives Lucy much more battle capability, because for the longest time, she had to rely very exclusively on her spirits, and to a lesser extent, that whip. And now that she's gotten this power, it feels like she's got going to be able to do a lot more. And that's a good thing. She she needs to do that. And speaking of power-ups, I feel really sorry for Happy in this. Because he he can't do anything, kind of, now except flying around. And while that is important, compared to what Carla can do now, hmm. <laughs> I just feel so sorry for him. I really wish he could do more. But he's one of the most recognizable characters from the store. He's like the plue of fairy tale. I highly doubt Mashima's going to do that to him. I mean, it just wouldn't make any sense. So, so that's going on. We see Shelly and Wendy completely curb-stomping all of them. 
when Lucy gets in a few kicks. I, I really love her regular Lucy kick. That is a re I just love her Lucy kick in general. It's just really funny. It's just really in character. And then Blue Nose kind of comes up, and he completely defeat he defeats Wendy and Shelia very easily. I mean, there is no question. He is this guy is tough. I mean, we see him fight on par with Guild Arts, and that was eight years ago. So imagine how much powerful he's become at this point. So he's going. So he's there. He's defeated Wendy and Shelia. He's getting ready to end it, and then Natsu comes up. He picks Shelia up, and he doesn't even notice it. He's just kind to tell Shelia. So we have that kind of like, you don't feel happy for me, which is really funny. And so probably this will be about Natsu who fighting Blue Notes, maybe with some help. I'd imagine it'd probably be with Wendy and Shelia, maybe more with Wendy, because we know more about Wendy. We more know more, than, more about what she can do. And maybe even Lucy, I wouldn't imagine it, because she I don't know if she can get over there. But I'd be happy to see that too. And getting to that, uh, one thing I really like is that this doesn't look like it'll just be a complete curb stomp arc, or just not to just beating everyone really easily, just this a little. And a lot of authors kind of fall into that trap. They just completely curb stomp all the characters. But Mashima doesn't look like he's doing that. It looks like he's still presenting Natsu with a legitimate challenge. And I think that's really good. I mean, it's a really refreshing take. And I'd love to see his fight with them. I mean, I think it could be really cool. It could be really interesting. A really good demonstration of what Natsu can do now. And because this guy is tough. I mean, this won't be a pushover. This will be a legitimately in intense fight, conceivably. Even though there's a slight possibility Mashima would, do, would like, even have Natsu curse up him. But I doubt that. <laughs> We've already seen this guy is really tough. I don't think that would be very believable. So... That's going on. The chapter is an improvement, in my opinion, over the last couple ones. I really hope to see Wendy rejoin Natsu and Lucy. I really believe she will. I mean, main character. I'd be surprised if she didn't. So, yeah, that's my basic opinion and my analysis on this. And if you probably want a little more coherent and a little more in detail, again, DeviantArt link down below and reply and comment. Signing off.